Now let's look at coin problems with three coins. So the basic idea is the number of the coins times the value of the coin gives you the total value. So here is the problem. Sarah has $2.05 in pennies, nickels, and dimes. She has nine less nickels than she has pennies. If there are 58 coins altogether, how many of each type of coin does Sarah have? So we're going to make a chart, and in this chart we're going to have pennies, nickels, and dimes. And then we have a total. And we're also going to let P be the number of pennies, N the number of nickels, and D the number of dimes. And so again, to start off, you need to pick one letter to represent all of the different types of coins uh, in terms of that letter. And I'm going to pick uh, P for pennies. So I'm just going to let this be plain old P. So I have P pennies. And so number of nickels. Well, she has nine less nickels than pennies. So that must mean if you take the number of pennies and you subtract nine from it, that should give me the number of nickels. So think about that. She has nine less nickels than she has pennies. So think about if that makes sense. Take the number of pennies and subtract nine from it. That should give you nickels. Okay, what else do we know? There are 58 coins altogether. Okay, so I can put 58 here. And now I need to figure out dimes. And this can be a little bit tricky. If I add up the number of pennies, nickels, and dimes, I should get 58. In other words, if I add up the pennies plus the nickels, which remember are p minus 9, plus the number of dimes, I should get 58. So I can solve this for d. I can collect these. This is 2p minus 9 plus d equals 58. Then I can add 9 to both sides. If I add 9 to both sides, then I get 2p plus d is 58 plus 9 is 67. And so dimes then must be 67 minus 2p. So I've written the number of dimes in terms of p, the number of pennies. So this will be 67 minus 2p. Okay, so that's really the hardest part of the problem, is just getting all of this part down, and especially this one here. Uh, but uh, if you use this idea of writing out what we know, knowing that when you add these three up, you should get 58, uh, then you should be able to do it. The value of each coin, that's easy. So for pennies, that's one, nickels, that's five, and dimes, that's 10. Don't need to put anything here. And the total value, so I just multiply these together. One times P, that's just plain old P. Uh, five times P minus nine, we'll go here. And 10 times 67 minus two P, we'll go there. And the total value, 205. Remember, writing it in terms of cents. So $2.05 is the same thing as 205 cents. All right, now when you add these three things up, you should get 205. So let's do that. I'll draw a line here, so this is something else. Okay, so we have P plus five times P minus nine plus 10 times 67 minus two P, all that added together should give me 205. Okay, now I have to distribute, collect like terms, basically just solve this equation for P. So P plus, okay, let's distribute the five. So this is five times P, that's five P. And then nine times five, that's gonna be 45, and it's negative because of this minus here. 10 times 67, that's 670. And then I have a two here times 10, so that's gonna be minus 20, and that's a P, and then 205 over here. Great. Now I need to collect like terms here. So I have a negative 20P, and I have a 5P and a P. So these two together will be 6P. So let me be able to do that first. 6P, and then I have 670 minus 45. Well, that's gonna be 625, so let's do that. And I still have minus 20p equals 205, all right. And then I have negative 20p and 6p. That's going to be negative 14p. OK, almost done here. Now I can subtract 625 from both sides. And so if I do that, I get 205 minus 625. That's negative 420. 
divide both sides by negative 14, and we get 30 for the number of pennies. And so to get the number of nickels, well, the number of nickels, if we look back up here, was the number of pennies minus 9. So that's going to be 30 minus 9. And 30 minus 9 is 21. And then if I want to get the number of dimes, that's going to be 67 minus 2p. So that's 67 minus 2 times 30. And if we calculate that, we end up getting 7. So you can check this. Uh, if we do 30 times 1 plus 21 times 5 plus 7 times 10, you do indeed get $2.05.